stepping back from negativity is huge with with what I'm seeing here. Salt, you know, throw salt over your shoulder. If somebody remembers what that's about, please leave a comment. <laughs> I know it's an old wives tale. Salting your property, it purifies and it cures at the same time. And yesterday we were blue fluorite, today it's clear. So crystal clear, calm to get to the truth of what's deepest within us. Welcome as we continue working our way through the Libra Aries zodiac axis. Today we're on 17. Let's jump in to Aries. Two prim spinsters sitting together in silence or another version is two dignified spinsters sitting together in silence. So a very passive degree on the surface. A man is riding a horse north as he searches for the kingdom of the fairies. An ancient crone and her shadow talking to each other. A bodiless head asleep on the beach. An ancient culture is transporting gigantic stones. Second step in the phase. So it's in contrast to the first. The first one is put it out there, put the word out there, listen to the feedback and then make adjustments. Get out there and do it. So this is about the truth, digging for the truth. Instead of the, the, the outward symbol of unity, man and woman, that can be done in many ways. A saint does it by connecting to God. Two spinsters, two sisters who reject marriage. Spinster means someone who didn't get married. And they're, uh, they have a connection, it's very deep, but it's a different kind of connection. So it's linking together, but doing it in a different way. Listening to yourself, searching for pearls of wisdom, allowing the truth to float to the top, but doing it in a quiet way. The stone for Aries is halite. It relieves mood swings, reduces negative attitudes, it's table salt is another way of saying table salt and rock salt. It speaks specifically to the heart chakra, but it, it helps all of them. And it clears the air of negativity. It prevents negative influences. It connects emotions, which is the ocean, which is where the salt comes from. And it brings it into the material plane. It, it helps with manifestation. There's a lot about it. Purify is probably the key word here. It reduces negative attitudes. So yesterday we talked about you don't know how your word is going to be received. And so you could be feeling sensitive and negative. Never really looked at table salt that closely before, but this is the degree for it. When you think about salt, um, you think about purification or preserving something but doing it in a pure way. So that is 17 for Aries. Let's take a look at Libra. A retired sea captain watches ships entering and leaving the harbor. The unwrapping of a mummy. A very bored woman who is listening but falling asleep. A man who has the ability to transfer information simply by touching someone. A woman guiding someone else through the realms of dreams. And the stone for Libra is clear white fluorite. Also, you know, a clear stone here. Able to establish a link to spiritual energies, alleviates feelings of guilt, shame, jealousy. Brings mental, emotional, and spiritual clarity harmonizes mind and spirit, helps you feel relaxed, at ease. It's good for your eyes and all chakras, clears your mind. It's good for brainstorming. It also helps diffuse the negative effects of electromagnetic interference. So some say place it near electronics or computers if you're sensitive to that. So a calm mind. Both of these have been through the storm. The last degree was about going out there, just say what you need to say, 
but possibly dealing with some stormy action. This one is saying, okay, let's go within, let's be calm. And digging for the truth, unwrapping things, the mummy, unwrapping, so that you can get to the pearl of truth. Appreciating all the people that we have been in our past and connecting those energies but on a, on a broad term so that you can it can help you bring it into the future so that you just have clearer perspective of where you are now uh, let's see what else um, so the sea captain has been through calm storms he's been through a lot of emotions he's seen it all and just watching just sitting and watching relaxing a theme with the ocean so the deep dark depths of our of who we are dancing is a theme dancing with ideas so this one is about calming your mind not really having an agenda just allowing things to come to watch them come and go not take them too seriously to regroup and to be in a calm meditative state. Living in a society, it is very easy to wrap away, like a mummy, wrap it up, our truest essence. But we, we didn't come here to box ourselves up or wrap ourselves up and not, not, be, not be who we are. So this degree says the way to find that is to reject negativity, quiet your mind, and go within if necessary so that you can tap into what needs to be unwrapped, what's your deepest essence, and that we will never find it if we have constant negativity. You may have to overcome taboos with this, so you take a, take a calm, slow approach. Salt, you know, throw salt over your shoulder if somebody remembers what that's about please leave a comment <laughs> I know it's an old wives tale assaulting your property it purifies and it cures at the same time and yesterday we were blue fluorite today it's clear so crystal clear calm to get to the truth of what's deepest within us thank you so much for watching these please leave a comment if you like uh, if you've had a dream about this specifically and I hope you have a fabulous day. Please take care. Till next time. Bye for now.